Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arifio, Cloud Learning Journey Partner. In today's video, we're going to talk about AWS Parameter Store. So um, first, let's talk about a scenario, okay? So you are developing an application and you are planning to deploy the application on cloud, specifically in AWS. So in your application, there are very sensitive information, some uh, security credential like AWS access keys or of the uh, database uh, username password, database uh, endpoint string like RDS. And some of your developer are uh, storing those uh, security credentials uh, hard coded in the code base. So as soon as uh, the code are pushed in the repo, there are like tons, millions of uh, bots online there uh, is, uh, actively scanning for these sort of credentials. Once you push it in few seconds, in few seconds, it will be compromised all the security security credentials, and then there will be data breach, and uh, things will be so bad from there. So now, uh, how can we make sure that uh, we can pass those part a particular security credential in a secure manner uh, in our code? Uh, the solution is AWS Parameter Store. So in AWS Parameter Store, we can store our sensitive information, and uh, if uh, we are using those uh, from our EC2 from our our code pipeline from our code build in multiple places of AWS then whenever we need to pass those environmental values then there will be a call to this parameter store and parameter store will securely uh, transfer or uh, provide those particular information to our code base isn't it cool so in this way we are eliminating the risk and we are following the security best practice so please watch till the end of this video because I'm gonna show you uh, the step-by-step -step process how to uh, create a parameter how parameter parameters under the parameter groups and how to use it, how to integrate it with your uh, system. So uh, before I start the video, I just want to talk about myself. I'm Arif. I do have more than eight years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Gold Cloud. Besides that, I also hold CISSP and CCSP certification, which are considered like the industry leader of cloud security certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT career tips. If you're interested in this topic, this channel is definitely for you. I'm gonna upload a tons of videos filled to this topic, so please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. So without further delay, let's explore AWS Parameter Store. So I have logged into my personal AWS account and from here we need to search for Systems Manager. So remember, Parameter Store is a subsection of uh, Systems Manager. So if we need to access uh, Parameter Store, we need to first go to this Systems Manager service. So I have opened this uh, system manager in a new tab and from here from the left panel if we uh, uh, look into it then we can find this uh, parameter store. This is a wonderful service to secure our uh, sensitive information or credentials. So I'm going to create some parameter store, uh, parameters in here. So uh, I'm going to call it uh, maybe something related to password because password could be a sensitive information, right? So password and description, it's uh, not uh, mandatory, it's optional. But if you're using it in your prod environment, then definitely you should uh, add some description so that uh, it will act as a label. So when uh, in future, when you have a lot of parameters, it will be easy for you to find out uh, the specific reason why you use that particular parameters. So there are two different tiers of uh, parameters. One is standard, another is advanced. Mm -hmm. So what are the major differences? There are two major differences. Be, uh, that is, the first one is uh, um, uh, it can store up like 10,000 standard parameters. Uh, and the second one in advanced, we can store up to 100,000 of advanced parameters. Um, the store parameter val uh, values up to 4 KB. So if you are uh, try planning to store a sensitive information or string that is uh, uh, less than 4 KB, then this is a perfect choice. Uh, but if your string size is very long, then it, then the second option that is the advanced is a better fit for you because it can support up to 8 kilobyte. And here uh, under advanced, we can add some parameter uh, policies, some uh, notification stuff. And the major, major difference is that the first one, the standard is totally free. You won't get charged for anything. This is uh, some, some sort of gift from AWS. And the other one, advanced one, here some charges are applicable. So uh, in dev, uh, standard makes sense. Uh, it's okay. But in prod environment, I feel using advanced will give you a better flexibility and better security control that's it so now 
Let's explore the standard one first. So under standard, there are a few types. Uh, the first one is a string. If you're planning to uh, add some string in here, uh, store some string. The second one is string list. Save a string using comma. So if it has multiple values, then you're gonna use that one. And third one is secure string that will be encrypted using the KMS uh, from your AWS account or from um, another AWS account. So if we go for this one, for security reason, now we do have two options. The first one is uh, current account. So that means it will use our current uh, default KMS key. And the second one is another account. Suppose in big application, what happens that they use a separate account for handling all the encryption keys and stuff because it's uh, more secure that way. They put extra level of uh, security mechanism in there so in this case then you can use this account I mean this uh, option the another account and there from there you just need to define the um, uh, ARN of that particular KMS scheme so for my case I'm gonna just go with the current uh, account one and uh, this is uh, and here we can store the value so for value maybe um, as a password it could be as uh, complex one because uh, password uh, should be long enough um, and all sort of characters should be there like some special characters too to make it complex that's the standard so if we explore the advanced one in advanced uh, we get few more um, here we can uh, see like uh, we can see we can use uh, parameter policies we can add some notification stuff which gives us more and more control over our parameters so for now i'm gonna go with the standard one and uh, now i'll just simply hit to create parameter so now we have a parameter name and the password where we stored our uh, uh, password in here like in a very secure way now a good question could be okay now we have the uh, password in here saved so how can we use it well we can use this uh, password uh, in the password in many aws services like we can use it in aws ec2 we can use it in a code pipeline we can use it code, uh, code build so there are tons of uh, places where we can just simply call uh, this arn so let me give you a real time example for it so for this i'm gonna go to code build in another video, I have covered like what's the purpose of code build. So suppose uh, you have a code, a code, uh, uh, you have a code base, and uh, you create a code pipeline, and you need to build the code before you deploy it, right? So this code build gonna help you with that. Um, so I have created a video on this. Uh, I, uh, if you're interested, please uh, uh, check out that particular video. I'm gonna add the video link under the video description. So if I create a project in here, maybe I'm gonna call it like test uh, project okay so in here we have some information so i'm not gonna go in details on this because it's more of a uh, uh, parameter store video not a code, um, code build video uh, so here uh, for a source i'm gonna go with uh, uh, S3, we do have multiple options. We can choose GitHub, we can choose, uh, uh, we can uh, choose the other one is uh, Bitbucket. Uh, it's uh, according to our uh, choice, we can choose where we store our code. So for now, I'm gonna go with S3 because I already have some S3 buckets in here. Great, so now uh, everything gonna be default for this video. The place that I really want to show you is this uh, here. So the environment of variables. So in your code, uh, maybe you're passing a variable named as uh, uh, password, okay, or pass. And now you need to pass the value. So now what you can do, we can go back to our parameter store and go to this password section, password parameter. And here you see even the value is encrypted because uh, uh, we use a secured, uh, secured string. So from here, we can just simply copy the ARN of this parameter uh, parameter, and uh, go back to here and paste it in here. And type should be matched to parameter because it's coming from the parameter store. So now we are passing this very sensitive information in a very, very secure way. And uh, uh, there, uh, there, this is a very good uh, practice. So 
uh, whenever we're dealing with a sensitive information, whether it's uh, related to AWS uh, uh, access keys or AWS RDS or any sort of security credentials, we need to pass them securely using either this parameter store or secret manager. In another video, I'm gonna cover this secret manager, but today the scope is the parameter store. And I really wanted to cover this one first because uh, parameter store is uh, free of charge. So it's a very good starting point for you. So after adding this in here, simply if I create the build project, so whenever it will refer to this particular uh, a particular variable named as pass, then it can retrieve value from the parameter store that we already saved. Isn't it really cool? Here you have it. Now you know exactly how to secure your sensitive information in AWS uh, whenever using those information in your code. It's really important to follow this security best practice. Other than that, it's very easy to get uh, uh, compromised. Uh, your data will be compromised. There will be an event and uh, things will mess up. So please follow these uh, security principles. If you guys have any questions or any doubts related to this uh, parameter uh, store, then please let me know in this comment section and uh, I'm gonna reply in a very short period of uh, time. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. I know time is the most important and valuable things in life and you are uh, spending time to uh, learn something new that I really appreciate for that reason I really try my best to provide value throughout my video um, if you guys want me to any specific topic related to it please let me know in this comment section and I'm gonna cover that for you if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos that's all for today have a great and wonderful day